What's up everybody, it's the Goal 60 here for Friday, June the 21st, 2019. So yesterday sucked. There's no doubt about it. There's no way around it. We lost the revenge play, which is, if you look back, that's the first official revenge play we've lost in at least two years. Possibly even longer than that, but I'm pretty sure it was in June uh, a couple years ago when we lost the Tigers. And... Um, there's just there's no doubt that it just sucks, man. It takes the energy out of you. But uh, we move on to today. We look at a ton of plays. We see how many we can pick up, what turns into official, what turns into unofficial, and what got eliminated right after this. As far as the revenge system, we actually had five opportunities for plays. Four of them were eliminated by RPI. And one of them made it through RPI, and the price made it an unofficial play. And that unofficial is San Diego against Pittsburgh. San Diego's at .505, Pittsburgh's at .495, so San Diego's actually higher. You look at the price, they're an underdog on the road right here. And so you look at the run line, and it's just too expensive, minus 205 on this play. So San Diego run line, minus 205, is the first unofficial play of the weekend, and it is a revenge play. As far as RPI, we had four of those starting up total, and um, one did become an unofficial. The other three actually became plays. So we'll talk about the plays first and then the one unofficial. Atlanta and Washington. Atlanta is at .519. Washington at .495. You look at the price. Atlanta is actually an underdog here. You look at the run line. It's minus 158 on the road. We're going to take it. Atlanta Braves minus 158 plus one and a half runs. The Angels and the Cardinals, Angels at .491, Cardinals at .508. You look at this uh, price on the Cardinals, and they're actually shaded to be an uh, underdog, somewhere around minus 106, minus 103, according to where you're looking at. So St. Louis is the second play. And then finally, the White Sox and the Rangers, the White Sox at .479, the Rangers at .502. Look at the price there, it's minus 145 for the Rangers, and therefore becomes the third and final official play heading into the weekend. The one unofficial play was Toronto and Boston. Toronto's at .463, Boston at .499. You look at the price and it's just extremely expensive. And I think sale is going off for Boston today, but still, I mean, that price is just ridiculous. $384, so almost $4 on a price. I, there's no way I would touch it if that was that just my take you guys take it for what it's worth obviously if it was me and i was looking at that game and i loved chris sale that much there's no way i'm going to take the full game at four dollars i'm going to take the first five where he's actually pitching if he's that good and deserving of a 384 line i'm taking him him in the first five but i would not even touch that full game there's no way i would touch that full game uh, as far as yesterday's unofficial plays, two of them did carry over. Two of them did win, so that's good. Uh, Tampa Bay got screwed by one of their closers. They um, were up in that game in the final inning and gave up, I believe, a three-shot home run to lose by one run. It was terrible to watch. But uh, <laughs> anyways, Tampa Bay cannot seem to get back on the winning side of things there. And then finally... Milwaukee doing the same thing. Lost to Cincinnati yesterday. Cincinnati is uh, on a tear right now. They swept the Astros. They beat Milwaukee in the first game. Milwaukee's on the other side of that. And so we'll see if they can't turn it around today. That's everything I've got. Like I said, one unofficial uh, revenge play. San Diego on the run line. Three official uh, RPI plays. Atlanta, St. Louis, Texas. And then you look at one new unofficial on the RPI, and it is Boston, but it's just way too expensive. I mean, honestly, I don't even want to count that as an unofficial play, but it fits all the parameters except for one, and therefore it's an unofficial. But it just that's just a ridiculous price. I don't understand why, even if that's – I guess you could say even if you felt like there's no way in the world that Boston could win the, or could lose that game, there's just absolutely no way I would touch it. There's just no way. But um, that's everything I've got. I appreciate you watching the video. I hope you have a great Friday. 
and uh, head into the weekend with some, you know, positives, and we can get this going. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Sixty percent of the time, it works every time.